Now let's have a look at today's little exercise. And this is using the iPad Mini 6, which is a really a brilliant piece of kit and perfect for the road warriors. You can take this out on the job with you and you can sit there right in front of um, right in front of clients without a big clunky iPad in the way. Very heavy. This is very light. Fits neatly in your coat pocket if you're wearing a coat and you can take it anywhere. Now included in, on this we've got Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer and Affinity Publisher. Now you can get all of those um, on a six month trial at the moment which you can't beat. But anyway, this is Affinity Designer 2.5.3 for the iPad and in this case the iPad Mini 6 when runs perfectly. Now I'm going to demonstrate on here how to cut out shapes in Affinity Designer 2.5.3. Now this rather complex image we've got there is no more than three layers. There's the top layer in the layer stack. It's simply a red um, rectangle. Below that is a, um, a wood pattern image and below that is another image that's a wood pattern. Now you'll notice two things here. The top one there is a curve. The, the middle one has been changed from an image to a curve and the bottom one is not. That's just a straight out image. So let's see how we do this, shall we? Now I can easily do another one and that's simply a case of just remembering we've got the top one, the bottom, middle one and the bottom one. So let's do another one of these and that you'll find is a 6x4 base. So let's start again. New, new document, 4 inches by 6 inches, that's 4 inches wide by 6 inches high, 4 inches wide. OK, and 6 inches high. There we go. Let's pull that in with my fingers so it's in that shape. Now you'll have a look in the layers panel. There is no layer because what we've got there is a white background. I didn't um, tag it to have a transparent background. I wanted to show you with a white background so you don't get fooled on the way through. So let's start by putting a rectangle in there and we're going to color the rectangle red. Now let's draw that out down there. We might need to turn snapping on so it's easy to see where it all is. Oops, now I drew accidentally. Don't forget to tap the move tool. There we go. You can see the red and green lines come on. Now that's not red but it is now. Now there's our red layer. There we go. Isn't that wonderful? Now what I want to do, and the move tool is still selected, I just want to draw that down a little bit so it's about there. It looks more balanced. Now that's pretty neat. Remember that, that's a rectangle. Now what I want to do is put a triangle in the middle of that. So we go down to the shape tool, select triangle, and let's just draw out a triangle. Now there's our triangle. Now it's red, that's okay. The snapping tool is on. Go back to the move tool, don't forget the move tool, and you can center it. There it is centered. Now how nice is that? Now what we've got to do with this is cut that triangle out because I want to cut it out so you can see through to the background. Now we go up here to geometry and it says add and divide. Ooh, why is this? Because, let's go over here, we've only got the triangle selected. If you want to cut the triangle out, you have to tell it what to cut it out of. Now, the triangle's on the top and the rectangle's on the bottom. Let's cut the triangle out of the rectangle. You can see now we've got all our options. We subtract it. There we go. Now you can see the background through there. How do we know it's the background? Well, quite simply, um, it is. Now, if that was a transparent background, that white rectangle would be actually transparent. It would show through transparent. 
Now, to prove that that is actually a see-through triangle, we're going to place the image. Now, I've got Fargo 1 in there. Isn't that nice of me? Already loaded. And I just put it in there. Now, it's the snapping is on. So you can see straight away that um, it just fits neatly. But it's covering everything up. So we want to be able to see it through that triangle. There we go. Perfect. Now you can see the timber through the triangle. That's just what we want. There's your triangle. There's your timber. Now I want to put the word Fargo on the timber and make that transparent so I can see through it and see that it's see that it's um a transparent text. Now because I've got a iPad mini, I've got to scroll that up and get the art text. I'll put it in there. I'll select the font. Let's make that floating so it's out of the way a bit. There we go. Now I want a good blocky text here. Alpha slab one is just right. F A R G O. Perfect. Back to the move tool. Don't forget the move tool. Now that's nice there. That's directly centered in our little thing there. Now what we've got there is Fargo's there and Fargo 1 which is the PNG file. Now we've got to cut that out of there. Let's see how we go with that. Add to selection. Subtract. Oh, it's subtracted everything. Now that's not what we want is it? Just be careful of that. We've got to go back there with just the back arrow key, which is down there, of course. You can see that down there. Go back to our layers and select Fargo PNG and go up here and convert it to a curve. Now that we've got both groups selected, the both layers selected, we've got Fargo, which is a group. We've converted that to curves. And Fargo PNG has been converted to a curve. Now there's there's all the curves for the word Fargo. And there's the little symbol that tells me that that's been converted. Making sure that you've got the Move tool selected. Let's go up here and add the selection. There we go. Now they're both selected and I can subtract the word Fargo from that layer. That's very nice. And it doesn't interfere with anything else that's on there. And you think, oh, that's plain white. Mm, OK. What we need to do now is put something behind the word Fargo. Let's go up here and place. Or maybe not. No, we won't place anything. Just to make life interesting, I'll go over here and I'll put Timber in the Pexels search engine. And it'll come back with a whole bunch of timber walls there. Now let's see if we got, we want some verticals, but I want them a little bit different than we've got there. Well, let's put red in there, red verticals, because that's a pretty close to the color of the Yes, that's pretty close to the color of the triangle or the rectangle above. Now we don't want it there, of course. We want it on the bottom. And there it is showing through Fargo. Now that's slightly better. We don't want to see all the blue outlines. Let's just move that down. Now there's our diagram. And again, as you can see, three layers. Perfect. That's all we need. Okay. Now, we'll call that quits for now, I think. That's probably as clear as I can get it. And remember, it's Affinity Designer 2.5.3, and it's on an iPad Mini 6. Now, 
there's only one thing left to do, and that's subscribe to my channel. And I really appreciate it if you do. So go away and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again in the next video.